Hey guys, what's up? Today we are doing Euphoria Season 2, Episode 2. And in the last episode, obviously, so it was the premiere of the second season. And one of the best things that could have happened in the show happened at the very end of the episode. And everyone knows what I'm talking about, which is when Fez, like, beat the living shit out of Nate. And even Jacob Elordi... I don't know if that's how you say his last name or not. Even, like, him in an interview, he was saying how, like, everyone was so mad or so happy that he got this, sh like, this shit beat out of him. I was going to say kicked out of him, but it wasn't. He didn't get kicked. Anyway, so that happened. Uh, also with Nate, he and Cassie had sex in the bathroom of the party that they were at. So that whole thing and then with fez him and lexi is that what her name is yeah anyway so they were um flirting and i i said this in the last episode but i think that lexi would be good for fez but probably fez not so much for lexi and that's just because of like the whole obviously drug deal situation but i don't know they could be good good together Anyway, uh, Rue tried, so she's been, like, back on drugs, but she, I think, tried for the first time heroin. I don't know if that was her first time trying it or not, um, but she tried, or, and, and we assume that she tried it. No, wait, did we actually see her stick the needle in her arm? I know that we saw her, like, messing with it, but I don't, I'm sure she probably did it. Anyway, so, that happened. Her and Jules kissed at the end of the last episode also so i don't know if they're back together officially or not but yeah so um if you guys want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for any of the other ones coming out soon please feel free to check out my patreon and the link in the description below but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this episode we didn't know how it happened damn we didn't know why it happened that's what you get. There was this feeling, and it felt so fucking good. And it was complicated. Oh, with Cassie or Maddie? Why is everyone helping him? He's such an it's asshole. Just okay, but... What was it about Cassie Howard that allowed Nate to fully surrender himself? Oh, Maddie, it was so it was scary. Cassie. He knew he wasn't perfect. That he had some issues. No shit. Maybe the reason he had those issues is because Maddie brought out the worst in him. <laughs> she keeps looking at Cassie. Maybe if he met Cassie, <laughs> oh, isn't that romantic? <laughs> that's so weird. I don't know. And I think it's because it's supposed to be, like, I thought it was a romantic moment, but she was a strong, powerful woman. Okay. I don't know if that's exactly how I would describe her, but. I can't imagine starting a family with you. Is that not what he told Maddie? Nate began to wonder if he had brain damage. Can you hear me? Probably. How would he know? He probably had brain damage to begin with. Tongue in your ass. Oh, boy. What? Jeopardize <laughs> everything their family worked for. This is so weird. What is happening? But there's no point in fantasizing about a life with Cassie when he knew that Maddie had that disc. Well, that was the stupidest place to put it, though. Where would things go? What would he be? Maybe they're his call. I was just about to say, I wonder if those are actual photos of Jacob. <laughs> he is so fucked up. Oh my god. So they are officially back together. Oh fuck. I completely forgot. Who's that guy? School. Oh, that's the guy that she did drugs with. Is this app? Yeah, that was it. New Year's. That's where we met. How? <laughs> she, I'm waiting for her to be Who like, how? Girlfriend? She probably knows. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Was it just me or was that super awkward? That was awkward. Yes, it was. Yep. Everyone felt that. I was reading this article on abstinence and how not having sex was like a friend. We but you did have sex with Nate, though. But she never would have said yes if Maddie and Nate were still together. Because mm, that would be unforgivable. Sure. But that wasn't unforgivable. <laughs> but they still... I don't know. Like, isn't that a rule? You're not supposed to have sex with your friend's ex? 
Does he really, though? No, she uh. went to fucking Florida. Don't what does she have all over her leg? Is this, like, the next day? Because surely she didn't have the blood on her from, like, more than one day. I'm sorry, but 17-year-olds can't donate eggs. That's fucking retarded. <laughs> she like the kids she babysat for. But what she loved the most was... It hurts. I'm just waiting for her to get stuck in one or something. That's the kind of shit that would happen to me. I would get caught. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what the hell are you doing in my clothes? Oh, yep, hurry up. Mm, hopefully she's not just gonna be in her bra and underwear. It was fun. Uh, it's nice to be drunk. Thank you. Well, she's drunk. Okay, so she can, like... At least he can... Maddie? Uh-oh. Can you come I was gonna here say, for at least second? he can say that, um, may maybe, like, was just seeing things. She needs hey. help getting undressed. Can you help me with this zipper? Thank I can you see something happening right now. Because that was weird. That was like a weird pull down and... I don't know. Maybe not, but like... And then she grabbed her hand. Yeah, Kat, stop flaunting your healthy, non-abusive, wonderful relationship. Not abusive. Triggering. And he was really sweet. But did she not want really sweet? Oh, I get it. This is like people are imagining things that they really want, right? That's what we're doing here. That makes a lot of sense. That's what she wants? Surely not, right? Oh my god. Is that supposed to be Cal Drogo? Totally. Oh, it's not, I mean, it's not Cal Drogo, but I wonder if it's like a Game of Thrones thing. This makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> You're telling me Ethan tore your clothes off and fucked the shit out of you? Yeah. Bye. Are you sure? Or was she just saying that? I think she was just saying that. I have a hard time Damn, believing you don't know who did this to you. Uh, but if you dislike your kid... Well, that's sort of your fault. Mm. True. Well, for the most part. Those aren't the emotions of a single person. Oh, the she's only right. way Nate was able to calm Cassie down enough to stop crying. Oh, what? Job. She's gonna spend the rest of her life trying to kill me. I know. But she'll actually kill you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's that's probably true. Oh, is that why she's sweating a lot? That makes sense. Because I can tell you have a crush on him. I do not have a fucking oh. crush on him. Then why else would you forget I didn't think she him? did, but... Like, I get you in trouble? Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Uh -oh. Mr. Jacobs believes you know who assaulted his son. I mean, they both do. Morning. Guys couldn't understand the whole story. This bitch. <laughs> Custer wouldn't leave her. Oh, no, dude, I'm done. She did. She loved my life. She's an idiot. <laughs> Get in the fucking vent. I love you. Get in the fucking vent. I love you. <laughs> Nick Cassie, I'm more than happy to get the chief of police. Bill Greenwood involved, old family friend. Maybe he should have this conversation okay. with you. And? I totally get both sides, though. If I was Cassie, I wouldn't say a damn thing if Nate didn't want me to. Well, okay, let me back up. <laughs> if it was a friend type of situation and they didn't want something to be said, I wouldn't say it. But if I was the dad, I would definitely be pushing a bunch of people to talk. Hello? She probably shouldn't have texted that, though. Yep. I'm sorry. Fesco almost killed Nate! That was his decision. So she said, so she, t she told him. How could Fesco be so kind to her and so violent towards Nate? Maybe because Nate's a douchebag? How she never had the courage to say anything. Mm. And even the time when she did get the courage that to say something. Creepy, though. <laughs> Boo, you really need to get home. It backfired. I hate this song. <laughs> this is 
is a terrible song. What is he trying to do? Now, I didn't know any of this because I was with Elliot smoking a little bit of weed. <laughs> Just a little bit of weed. That's it. <laughs> What's a bigger feeling than love? Loss. Maybe. Depends on what happens when, like, and what kind of loss and what kind of love. How old were you? I was 14. I want to know what his forehead so says. recently, I feel like everyone's looking for, like, a cause and effect. An excuse? Sometimes she just, like, is what it is. How does Jules not know that you're doing drugs? Ugh, because I'm good at my job. Mm, no, she it's knows. It's a good thing that we're friends. <laughs> Yeah, well, she knows. I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more and more. <sighs> <sighs> and then she hangs up. <laughs> Kat was depressed because she couldn't figure out why she didn't love Ethan. So she decided to make a list of pros and cons. I don't think it's that simple. Are cute and handsome not the fun thing? The fun thing. The same thing I read funny. Because <laughs> you could put like cute slash handsome, I guess. You're one of the bravest, most beautiful human beings I have <laughs> ever seen. That's not true. What is happening? Yes, it is. <laughs> Cat, what is you just happening? have to love yourself. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. I fucking hate myself. You need to smash all beauty standards. But I can't even get out of bed. <laughs> you have to love yourself. There's so Being many of them. I'm like warrior. trying to figure out what's happening. A bad bitch. Bowling. So she ended up inviting her to go bowling with them. They, Wait, is that Cassie rain. getting inside of Nate's oh, truck? Oh yeah, yeah, she brings the rain. Mm -hmm. Brings the rain. Oh. <laughs> that's funny like i would think that so many things would be up if i were maddie i think she probably does to be honest she's probably slowly catching on or at least she probably knows but she's like trying to um not think what is that word i'm trying to think of she's trying to like not what the fuck is that word why can't i think of the word <laughs> deny that's what it is deny out of the word she's trying she's in denial never been over here before cassie is such a dumbass i swear to god like if first of all i wouldn't be put in this situation but second of all if i was i would like it's creepy it's creepy red flags everywhere hello oh okay maddie's there too so basically, it was, I think it was supposed to be a date, and then she invited all of her friends. <laughs> oh, this is probably one of the construction sites his dad works on or something. I really like it. Oh, I wish that things could be different. But? I just think what happened between us was a mistake. I know we never should have did what we did. You said it too. Oh, she's gonna go flirt with Let's see Howard. Hi. How you doing? You need help finding anything? Not that. Oh, uh, mm. that's the malt liquor. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's so cute. Oh my god, I can't. I feel like she's gonna hurt herself or something. Well, wherever they're at, they're near an airport. How did I know this was gonna happen? <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. How are you ever gonna look Maddie in the eye again? <laughs> I just love how he turns this shit back around, like... Uh, you need to get the fuck out right now. Uh-oh. Ash is around the corner. Jump. Is he actually gonna do something with, like, other people around, though? Mm. I'm just waiting for Ash to, like... <laughs> Come around the corner or something. Just a concerned father. I feel like that's not the last that we're gonna see the two of them. I'll never find that kind of love. What do you mean? There's just no darkness. It's just 
sweet. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that would ever be enough for me. I'm going to introduce myself to your mother. What are you talking about? Well, if my daughter was getting rides home from N.A. by a 54-year-old crackhead and you didn't come to the door to look me in the eyes, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Quote. What? Is she sleeping? <laughs> How is she sleeping? Oh, she's not sleeping. Okay, I was going to say, because she had like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I would not be surprised, though. Me too. Good night. Mm-hmm. He saved your ass on that one. How does she not notice that her daughter's doing drugs is this, again? Is it true you killed Mouse? Well, he didn't. <laughs> you remember that classmate of mine that you fucked? Jules? Mm. Okay. So she told her best <laughs> just friend. just came right out with it. Who told her drug dealer. I want to apologize. I don't need your apologies. I need you to understand. I didn't know she went to your school. I didn't know how old she was. Mm. Well, she didn't know is that you were filming her. Yep. Do you have it? Nope. Oh my gosh. It didn't have such of a, a crazy ending as the last one, of course, because I think that we all wanted to see Naked, like, just beat to smithereens. But at the same time, um... It's, it's, I'm, I'm glad that the dad knows that Nate knows and like, that's a whole thing. And then the whole Cassie and Nate and Maddie situation, like, God, gross. Can everyone just stop like trying to fuck Nate or like wanting to fuck Nate? Cause that's driving, that's enough, enough. <laughs> it's ooh, irritating. It, okay. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> If you guys want to check out this episode completely unedited or um, get early releases for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.